Okay, well, we're about to pin this up. Okay. <laughs> it's easier to run out like I'm eight I to ten feet and then pin it and then roll out a bunch, pull it tight, pin it, yeah. roll it out, pull it tight. Pin Keep it, it tight and uh, get the wrinkles out. Yeah. Okay, so how long of a roll is this one? 11 foot something. Oh, how tall? Yeah. Yeah. But it's 12 foot roll? I think it's about 10 feet. 10 feet, so you're getting it to about flush with your backfill height though is what we're planning to do here, right? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna put it on the footing, mate. Yep. Okay, so now. In the bulkhead, yeah. You're using a super plug here, screwing it into the um, the tie of the ICF lock. We can see our seams to the blue skin this way. Yeah, those coming even nicely on the camera here. So he's trying to hit one of those, which on this eight inch block, he has one every six inches. So should be no problem. Uh, we're using this mainly as backfill protection against our walking membrane. Okay. So you see the blue skin they have on the, as the primary layer on the foundation wall, and then they're doing super seal afterwards to, uh, for the drainage plane on top of the waterproofing. Yeah, it gives, relieves the hydrostatic pressure as well as protects our waterproofing membrane from damage from rocks. Because on a tight area like this, we're going to shoot the gravel in with a, with a gravel slinger. Yep. And so all that, those little rocks, if they're hitting here a lot. Punctures it. Punctures it, yeah. So the super seal, the, the plastic membrane's it. a little thicker and a little stronger. <clears throat> and protects it from the backfill. Chad, do you think you need to do anything when you run out of roll here? Do you do anything at the seam? Uh, we don't. We overlap them. Yeah. How far is there a specification for that? You know, or there, there is a specification. Um, it's been a while since I've looked at it. Uh, we overlap by about a foot. Yeah. Mike, how'd you know there was a, a tie there that you can screw into? Follow the dots. And sometimes if you try to put a screw in and uh, it doesn't hit anything. It may not be the case that you've missed the tie uh, vertically. It's yeah. probably you've hit where a block is. At the joint, yeah. No tie. Yeah, so you gotta just move up or down. Chad, do you wanna explain why they use plugs, you think, instead of just screwing it on? Uh, Cause the plugs, um, if you just use a screw, the screw tears out of the ICF. More surface area to keep it tight. So the plug has basically male dimples that pop into the female yep, dimples on the roll in place. and yep. holds it in a bigger area, right? Because yep. if uh, we just use the screw, that would just fall out. It doesn't, it just tears right through the, through the super seal. Right. And actually you'll notice that after the backfill starts to settle, these will actually pull through. Because the, what happens is because the dimple membrane has the, the ribs, the actual it grabs. It's caught it. It yeah. drags it down the wall. How long do you think the blue skin took you to do this whole foundation? Uh, it takes about a day or two. Uh, Is there any temperature the restrictions on the on What's the blue that? skin? Is there any temperature restrictions? Like, can you do it in the winter and stuff? No, you, you, um, there is a temperature restriction on the actual primer. So I don't know if it's so much the blue skin. Okay. Um, I don't like doing it in the when it's super cold though. Because yeah. what I find happens is the material when it warms up, the material just wrinkles because it expands. Mm -hmm. And so it just it goes on tight and then it just goes for out. So we try not to do it when it's cold. So what would you say are our uh, advantages to using your blue skin system and super seal combination over using a, a, an EPS acceptable like spray on? Um, I find that uh, the spray-on membrane could possibly work if protected. Right. So if you use the combination with Super Seal again? What's that? If you use it in combination with Super Seal? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you're overlapping about a foot and then you're going to screw in the joint into both sheets? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's 
right there.